Dizzles. Uh, today, a quick and simple review or demo or however you want to call it because uh, I've got these pedals on loan and I don't get to keep them so I don't get to play with them for a month or two and then really find out what's cool about them so I'm going to explore with you what's cool about them because I actually just plugged this thing in I've never played with it <coughs> and um, we're going to find out together what it does, what it doesn't do and um, because I gotta give it back so quick demo none of the typical mega bullshit that I do also a loner right here, POS SC245, I do not get to keep this. Marty Friedman owned it or loaned it or l had loaned it before me, so that's kind of cool. Put a scratch on the back from his belt. Big ass belt buckle man, Mr. Friedman. So, um, very cool, loaded with 5708s. Very nice. And um, someone's trying, someone's opening the door. Did the dog just open the door? That is way cool. Um, and that's going into the Quattro, which is going into my Mesa Boogie right there. Mesa Boogie! Uh, Mark 5 25. Um, very cool, of course, on clean, which is going down into the basement into a uh, Fender a Hot Rod Deluxe 112 cab, mic'd with the Sennheiser E609, going into Universal Audio 4. 710D preamp, and I gotta mention because it's way cool that Dadario now is sending me strings. Not that I've ever played anything else, I've played Dadario strings for 25 years. I've never tried these New York XL except for now, and they're freaking awesome. So you should try them because from the first moment they feel good, they keep feeling good, they don't seem to corrode as much, they're very strong, um, and just sound good. I mean, they're just you know, you don't think about them anymore. Put them on, they work, great sound, thank you. So it's not like this is something new for me. Uh, I've always played Dario, just now they love me. <coughs> so, into the Mesa, this is clean. <laughs> It's not the Karl Martin Custom Shop 50 clean sound. It's not. But it can be pushed and of course the Mesa can do a little bit more in terms of flexibility than the Custom Shop. It's a totally different beast. Um. Well, here's a compressor and it works. Anything else you need to know? No, you don't! Spanky shit right there. pushing the amp a little, a little bit. I love the Carl Martin compression. Let's try to be quiet. It's all pretty much the same now. You can use it beautifully to make your leads sing. got two drives I think it's they're voiced the same if if I'm correct very thick kind of maybe plexi tonish but not quite mm -hmm. 
Let's get drive one and two exactly the, to the same setting and then we'll switch around and we'll see whether their voice is the same. <laughs> No, Drive 2 has a little bit more pfft. So, there you go. Very nice drive. So here you can switch between a nice little overdrive. Let's see if we can compress that. I'm doing so uh, chorus works and a subtle so the echo it has tone repeat and echo which is the level but it doesn't have time so it needs to be tapped I'll be right back Frickin' neighbors ringing the doorbell and need onions. I don't have onions. So how long can this go? It's obviously an analog delay, so...
So you can obviously use it as a reverb replacement. With some compressor and chorus for a beautiful clean sound. I, I hope. has a send and return so you can put a different effect in the loop which you then can of course turn on and off by itself um, it's extremely sturdy it's extremely big it has its own power <coughs> but you know what let's go into my two cents and well, I'll just give you my bottom line from the experience I just had that's pretty much all the experience I have see ya This is The Quattro by Karl Martin. This is Walter, who hopefully does not pee on The Quattro. Where are you going, Walter? Where are you going? Okay. Walter, well, do you want to play with this? We're, of course, here in Walter's room, which is, you know, we have a ferret room. Don't you have a ferret room? Everyone should have a ferret room. Hello? <laughs> you stupid ferret. I got it. So, sorry. Ah, ferret slobber all over the quattro. It's not mine, I can't, oh, can't keep it. I guess it's beef stock now. Um, Car Martin's quattro. Well, it does. It's, it's a great overdrive. It's, I think the Car Martin compressor, which is half the price of the quattro, um, is a little bit more flexible, but the compressor does its job. The chorus is decent, decent. That's that's not how you say that. The chorus is uh, subtle but functional. The echo can Psh, water. The echo uh, or the delay is a vintage type delay. It's probably digital because it can be tapped. It's not true bucket brigade, which can't be tapped. Uh, I would have liked to have a knob, but on the other hand, tapping is also nice. Who is this for? That's the big question. Is this a thing that you put on your pedal board? Highly doubt it. I don't think the Quattro is designed to put on your pedal board. I think the Quattro is designed for people who don't want to build a pedal board. You're not mega picky about what your delay sounds like. This is a great delay. Analog style. You need a clean sound. Compressor, chorus, echo, on, bam, you've got a nice clean sound. You need a driving lead sound. Drive to, on, crank it up, echo, what? You just need a bluesy sound without anything. Well, overdrive on, drive one down. So this is pretty much a pedal board in itself. It's for the people who want a no-brainer, super freaking stable, you cannot break this pedal board with its own power supply. So there's no patch cables, no power supply, no nothing, and it's super stable. You put this in your backpack, put it on the stage, bam, guitar, whatever, you put another thing in if you want a reverb or whatever, because that looks like it's behind the drive, but in front of the chorus, right here, that's where the loop is. So this is a pedal board in a box, all analog, not the Line 60 kind of modeling stuff, not an M13, all analog. Um, and it's for people who need super sturdy, high quality, 
Kamaten quality in portable, okay? And it's for the ones of you that are looking for a pedal board in one pedal. And it's great for that. If I just had to go to rehearsal, take it, bam, I've got everything I need there. Um, I play rock music, I got my Marshall, I plug in, I can push it with this. Perfect. So it's super high quality. It is compact enough to, you know, be portable. As I said, it's on power supply, even has a stereo output. I don't know at what point it becomes stereo, no idea. Walter, psh. Um, thank you. And uh, it clocks in at about 550 bucks, which for everything it has to offer, super foot switch, everything is absolutely okay. So if you're not into pedal boards, which is weird because then why are you watching my, why are you watching my channel? Um, this is a solution for you. If you are into pedal boards and sometimes you just want the one pedal solution, this is it. Water can't get up because because the, all the other boxes are there. It's funny. Show the how water is trying to get up. No? Okay. Well, and now it's too late. Okay, well, <clears throat> sadly this has to go back. Uh, Again, Karl Martin, yet another pedal that I can't really say anything negative about. Way to go, Quattro!